Hello and welcome to a brand new video of Global Techniques of Architecture. And yes, again we are at the most favorite place for all the facade designers. It's the facade testing lab. And again, yes, we are at Facade India Testing INC here at Murbad. So the question that everybody was more curious about to know was that why is it that a facade project has to go for a test? So today we are answering the question which is why testing? So it was much more required for us to compile this video because there, there is a much more kind of uh, say resistance from the client fraternity or say the fabrication fraternity that why to go for a test it's like getting an insurance for yourself your own insurance or else as a QAQC process if you want to hire a, a or say if you want to have a building cladded with facade by default as a normal practice we need to absolutely go for facade testing wherein each and every aspect right from technical from aesthetic to structural to wind to air is being 100 percent checked on the marker if you if i can request my friend just show them that how many rigs are there and you can see some airports being tested out here to some commercial spaces some IIT uh, campus is being uh, tested. So all put together, yes, there there is a set of clients and people who understand the importance of it. But yes, I feel that there is much more, uh, say, education or say awareness, which is required for the client team to understand. So it's it's kind of request to all my viewers share this video. So that people understand that yes, these are the tests to be done. So, on a prima facie, we would be uh, say covering from right from air infiltration to exfiltration to positive wind load to negative wind load, structural to water uh, penetration test, which would be static first of all, and then it would be with the help of uh, the actual propeller, uh, which would wherein we would be simulating actual worst wind loads along with your range and then last but not the least uh, we have repetition of these tests after every uh, water test after every uh, structural test just to make sure that the members which are getting deflected are not deformed and are coming back to their original location and are not creating gaps or cracks for water to uh, enter inside the facade and last but not the least is the seismic racking test so in even in case of special buildings, it is uh, of much more concern that what is seismic racking test. So it is generally as per code codes, it is 0.4% of your flow to flow span. So the facade will be moving to left as well as right. When you look at it, it, it doesn't seem that the facade is moving, but yes on uh, when you look at the actuators, when you look at the readings, you feel that yes, it's moving. So all put together, uh, facade testing in totality, I'll say, is of great importance when you are looking at the overall project for water tightness, for its structural stability, for uh, n number of reasons and also a mental piece for the contractor that yes, we have covered the entire gamut of all the test requirements, the design uh, feasibility, the design criteria has been 100% met. So that's the sole reason for which we com consistently insist on performance mock-up testing. So as per even standards, we are supposed to test as say uh, three grids, one, two, three, three grids and two floor heights. So sometimes these three grids span up to 40 meters in, ca in case of some airport buildings and uh, the two floor height even goes up to 20 meters. But yes, since we are following the standards to 100%, we need to follow it to the fullest. And once we are in, in uh, the test lab scenario into this setup, the total uh, outcome 
is to secure the building post installation also. So the sequence goes like this that the design once approved, the shop drawings once made are to be shared with the consultant. The approval is to be uh, say obtained over the drawings. The dies are in place and then before the first panel at site, the first panel has to be erected on the test brick. So that's the uh, uh, we call it control room from where the entire things get jumbled up and uh, the test is being carried out. So I hope to show you some more detailed videos on the testing sequence but due to the NDA clause we won't be able to do it. So with this positive note that yes every project has its own peculiar need of facades. I uh, thank you everybody for listening to me for this long and request you to share it with all your industry colleagues and friends so that this knowledge of going for a facade test which is of utmost importance for the overall project not for an individual not for a company but in the interest of the project has to be carried out to the fullest so with this i complete my this video thanks for watching